I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder Cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me Ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact Give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back I got the cash in the bag Alrighty, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Or welcome if you're new here. Okay. <laughs> Everything's all fine and dandy. Who is calling me? I just happened to look over and, like, I'm getting a random phone call. And I don't know what the heck's going on. Anyway, around, welcome back to the channel. Or welcome if you're new here. I'm Christina, aka that Ryan Nerd. I'm totally scrambled brained right now, and that's totally okay. Seasonal allergies will indeed do that. I'm tired, y'all. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know who just called me, and I don't care to find out, to be honest. Uh, but either way, <laughs> I'm such an adult, I just let it ring. <laughs> this is definitely going to set the tone for this filming session tonight, isn't it? Because I'm like, maybe I'll get a couple videos filmed, you know, whatever, right? Because I'm like, well, I have a lot more free time on my hands. You know, I'm only spending a couple nights a week doing schoolwork, which is great, versus, like, the seemingly every night that we were going at for a little while. So that's quite nice. We're in a much more balanced level right now. Um, all right, apologies for the jump cut. I keep forgetting that this entrance always is like, it always gets me, like, a weird, like, visual copyright claim because of the trons and everything. So... There's that. Representing the bar from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. So, yeah, the bar is back, as we saw at a uh, good old takeover. Oh, God, which one were we at? Vengeance Day. I think that was Vengeance Day. I think. Oh, dear God, we're losing track. It's fine. I'm pretty sure it was Takeover Vengeance Day, right? I feel like that sounds about right. Right? I feel like that definitely sounds about right. But we're in the lead up to wonderful Survivor Series. And then if you saw my post on social media, uh, and go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Twitter, uh, we will be doing Starcade coming up after Survivor Series. So that'll be like our December show. So we're, we're going into, our no into the November content. At least we're kind of matching up with, you know, the timeline in real life, you know. Oh, cool. We're in October and we're building up to Survivor Series. I know that we're building up to crown jewel in real life but also survivor series to a certain extent because we're only a few weeks out from that too um so yeah uh, before i was you know interrupted i don't know how long or how many episodes we're gonna have like i'm trying to get as much as i can pumped out like before november hits because once november hits y'all it's gonna be a mess <laughs> it's gonna be a mess for like at least a week we'll do like moving vlogs and that sort of thing like because I want to kind of just document everything, kind of like how we did with the last moving vlog, where we just sort of, you know, did a few things each day and that sort of thing. I don't know. We might do a little mini vlogging series. I don't know. We'll see. And that way I can give you all little, like, day-by-day -day updates and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, we have a move coming up in, like, uh, less than three weeks, so that's nice. Either way around, um, I'll try to get as much as I can sort of filmed and at least put out, you know, in October. So if there's a lull in November, that's why. Uh, but this is exciting, people. This is very exciting. Oh, we got a drop kick right there. As you can kind of see from the uh, timestamp, uh, this is a men's qualifying match for the men's survivors team. Uh, NXT versus Raw is happening, right? That's exciting, right? Right. Uh, next episode, we will determine who the NXT champion is because we have a rematch on our hands. An interesting rematch. We have an elimination-style triple threat match 
on our hands next episode, so that'll be a good time, I think. Uh, but we have Survivor Series qualifying matches left and right. Can everybody coexist? <laughs> I gotta continue that trope. I have no shame. But yeah, that's all that's going on right now. I want to keep y'all in the loop, so if we have random uploads throughout October, we're just going with the, we're just rolling with the punches, y'all. We're just rolling with the punches. If this comes out tonight on Tuesday, then so be it. If this comes out on Wednesday, so be it. But I'm just going to have a good time filming, and that's what counts. And I know y'all are having fun along with the ride as well, so let's just keep on moving, y'all, until, well, we start to move which is in, like, about three weeks or less by this point. All right, here we go. Huge strikes right there from Nakamura to Sheamus. And Sheamus ain't looking too good right here. Of course, Sheamus Cesaro and Jordan Devlin, they defeated Edge and Mustache Mountain at TakeOver, so that was exciting and fun. We also had Queen of the Ring, so that all unfolded as well. Huge elbow drop from Shinsuke Nakamura, and into the cover goes Shinsuke. Oh, and Sheamus kicked out at two. I was going to try to film last night, but like, oh, Sheamus just ducked. Sheamus just ducked, y'all. But yeah, I was going to try to film last night, like on Monday before Monday Night Raw, but boy howdy. Dem seasonal allergies. Oh no, Sheamus is going for it again. Oh god, that's got to be it. That's what put away everybody at, um... Oh no. Oh, Shinsuke ducked that one. It's the battle of the kicks. Who's going to hit the kick first? I think we had a kick. Or we had something happen just now. We had a lot of, de we had a lot of developments in the last so many episodes. It was insane. I don't know if I want to do a double header event like that, or at least for not, you know, not for a little while. But here we are. <laughs> it's a good social experiment. I feel like if I would have waited until like right before I moved or something, that would have been a lot better, to be honest. But yeah, here we are, people. Here we are. I haven't figured out like how far along we're gonna, you know get to in universe mode like before the move or how much into November we're gonna like film through but it won't be like an everyday sort of thing like we, we haven't been every single day for a little while I try to do an every other upload you all know this by now so there's that oh Seamus is not looking too good here Shinsuke is going for it all the kicks all the kicks all the kicks dear lord I'm, I'm in pain, y'all. I'm in pain watching this. I'm in pain for Seamus. And Shinsuke Nakamura makes his way onto the Men's Survivor Series team. I keep hearing noises in this apartment. Oh my god. Dear soundproofing, I will never take you for granted ever again. Oh, and we got the brand new coffee table, too. Again, I don't know if y'all, like, know this by now, but, like, I film in my living room. <laughs> which, is, which probably sounds weird, but, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, we film in the living room, and, well, we finally got a brand new coffee table, because if you, you know, have been around long enough, uh, when we got a coffee table at the last place, which came over to this place, it was a defective coffee table, so it just has not, you know, functioned. So I haven't had a functioning coffee table and like probably like two and a half years now really so there's that but either way around um let's keep on moving onward and upward we got another survivor series qualifying matchup on our hands up next all right people here we go we've got carmella carmella really just crushed it at queen of the ring she made it to the finals of the queen of the ring tournament lost against rhea ripley but she did not go down that easily not at all I, I'm kind of here for Carmella being a, one of our mainstays on the NXT roster. She's been really putting in the work, especially in that last match that we saw her in. And so that's why I think we're all looking forward to this matchup. We have two women that really crushed it at Queen of the Ring. They might not have won, but they won our hearts. <laughs> they won over the crowd. They won over us, the audience. I'm not going to lie, I actually miss watching Carmella on TV now that I think about it. Because we haven't seen her for a little bit, now that I'm thinking about it. 
Hey, uh, can you go over to SmackDown next? I don't know. <laughs> they need somebody over there. I'm just saying, they need some help over there with the women's division side of things. Either way, uh, this is going to be an exciting match, to say the least. We have the women's... It's a four-on-four -four tag match, and so... Survivor Series is probably going to be a little bit longer than usual because of that, because... I've learned in previous universe modes that, like, these tag team matches take 10,000 years to get through. And they kind of need, like, their own little, like, parts. So there's that. <laughs> I think, like, one season of universe mode, we went, like, five parts for Survivor Series. Because it just took 10,000 years to get through everything. Oh dear god, I'm feeling the seasonal allergies like really starting to kick in a little bit. I'm like, I just got home not too long ago. I went for a walk after work, and so that was a thing. Oh god, okay. I'm trying to find the... How many freaking episodes did we have? It was a lot. I, I remember it clearly. It was a lot, though. Oh yeah, I'm like, did we get to SmackDown and NXT and Raw? We covered all three brands last time around, so I don't know. I mean, to be fair, we had like, okay, hang on here. I just, I scrolled past it. I hate it here. Okay, we had four parts to Survivor Series. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So yeah, we had four total parts to Survivor Series the last time around. I feel like there was one where we had five. Oh my god, why am I checking this, like, right now? Good lord. Okay. We definitely had it somewhere. Right? No, nope, nope. God, why didn't I actually, like, label things right? Well, I try to be creative and well... Well... Wheel. Wheel, wheel, wheel. Survivor Series is a marathon. Oh my god. Yeah, that sounds about right. That genuinely sounds about right. Okay, I think we had like at least four... Yeah, I think we were at like four or five parts the last couple seasons of Universe Mode. So needless to say, uh, I'm not mad at us continuing with the weekly episodes every every other day. You know, these four leading up to Survivor Series. My apologies for like not keeping on track with, the, with what's on the screen, but I'm like mentally mapping it out like for me because it's like... I know that we're doing Survivor Series and Starcade, like, you know, November, December, the timeline. But, like, how we're gonna approach this, we're gonna just have to see, right? Right. Oh, and Carmella, huge drop kick right there. So, yeah, again, I don't know if this is gonna come out on, like, Tuesday or Wednesday, but here we are, kids. Here we are. Again, I have the time to do it right now to, like, get ahead, so there's that. But y'all seem to like the little break in between the weekly, like, the four episodes leading up to the pay-per-view and then the pay-per-view, so... I'm like, okay, well, this actually works out pretty good. I think. <laughs> we're, just, we're just trying to wing it. But y'all seem to also like the weekend specials, too. So that's why I'm like, let's try to push through it. But y'all, I don't know how many episodes freaking Survivor Series is gonna be like, because on my little notepad thing. I've got all these different matches. I'm like, oh dear god, we're gonna have like a Survivor Series week at this rate. <laughs> so, like, do we just use the weekend as our little breather? I don't know. Alright. Huge DDT right there from Carmella to Dewdrop. Carmella's looking... She's crushing it, people. She's just crushing it, but Dewdrop kicks at it too. And our main event tonight will, of course... Feature Kyle O'Reilly versus AJ Styles for a spot on the men's Survivor Series team as well. So, I mean, these teams are coming along pretty well, I would say. Huge back suplex right there from the drop. Dewdrop drop dropped Carmella. <laughs> oh, Carmella with the counter. Huge jawbreaker right there from Carmella to Dewdrop. I really want to, like, make food, but I'm like, I just want to film for a little bit. I might make, what I'll probably do, maybe I'll make a snack or something, I don't know. Or maybe I'll make some tea. It is fall, so it's tea season, y'all. Oh, I forgot to mute the television. That, <laughs> there, There's the echo. I'm like, why do I hear, why is it louder than what I have on my headset? 
Good lord, we're, we're messy over here. Bam. The tricky part is that, like, I'm gonna, I'm trying to also, like, uh, we'll, we'll chit-chat. I feel like I need a chit-chat video at some point, just to kind of, like, figure things out. But yeah, we're, we're figuring things out in real time. Huge power bomb right there from Dewdrop. Because, like, I'm trying to make little upgrade. Well, not little upgrades. Technology is expensive. I'm trying to upgrade some stuff, like, technology-wise, I think. But I'm also, like, oh. <laughs> because the problem is going to be, like, we upgrade. A lot of the newer televisions that are out now are, like, in 4K. And my computer can barely freaking film 720. Freezes in 30 minutes. I'm like, oh dear god. And so it's like with a 4K screen, you can't really film, you know, with the 1080p capture card that I've had for. I've had this thing somehow for four years, and I don't know how. It survived like multiple moves and everything. Oh, and the drop. The drop just dropped Carmella right there. Could this be enough? And Carmella kicks out. What a match we're watching, people. What a matchup. Hey, the crowd's wanting a fight forever right here with these two, and I'm not mad at it. I am mad at the seasonal allergies. Y'all, I love fall, and fall's my favorite season, but these ragweed allergies, oh dear god. Uh, uh, we're going to pour one out for the ragweed people that also love fall and we just want to be out in it, but the ragweed is running wild. It's just like the super kick from Carmella right there. How did Dewdrop kick out? What are we watching? We got a women's wrestling chance. See, this is why... This is exactly why we had a women's pay-per-view event, people. Let me know if you want more, like, you know, intermittent specials like that. Maybe we need to do, like, a tag team pay-per-view or something. I don't know, but a huge super kick right there from Carmella. Like, nothing crazy. Like, just, like, a few matches. Something pretty chill. How did Dude Drop kick out of that? I don't know what is happening at this point. What is, what is this match? Is this, like, our new, like, best of, like, five series? Dude Drop with the splash onto Carmella? And Carmella kicks out. This is like our women's... This is going to be like the women's best of like... Seven series or something. Actually, I don't know if that's the number we're going to go with. But I'm, I'm not mad at it. These two are just laying it all out there. I'm here for it, people. I'm here for it. Oh, and Carmella with the strikes. Do drop ducking. But Carmella, what is she up to here? Oh, what a DDT. Huge stomp right to the arm of Dewdrop from Carmella right there. Into the cover. And Carmella picks up a huge win and makes her way to Survivor Series. What a match, y'all. I Can we get another match? I wouldn't be mad at like a best of like five or something like that if that's, you know, what we got. You know what I mean? Boy, howdy. What a match, y'all. What a match. And friends, Carmella is the first woman to qualify for the Women's Survivor Series team. So let's keep things moving, people. Let us keep things moving. And we will have, like, a, like, last chance triple threat match because we've got some matches coming up, you know, in the next couple of episodes or so. But until then, we got to see who will join Shinsuke Nakamura at Survivor Series. Will it be Kyle O'Reilly? Will it be AJ Styles? Well, we're about to find out, y'all. Alrighty, people, here we go. Here we go. Main event time. I don't know why I just did it in a sing-songy voice like that, but here we are. And here comes the number one contender for the NXT Championship, Kyle O'Reilly. Seems like you guys really like that match with Kyle and Randy at TakeOver. And I did too, don't worry. <laughs> We still miss you, we, we still miss you, Randy. And Kyle, too, because Kyle's been out for a while over on AEW, so. We miss them both, but at least we have virtual means, you know what I mean, of just, like, throwing matches together and seeing what sticks. <laughs> Look, we just, we just have fun over here. That's just where we're at, and I'm glad that y'all are just 
cool with it. God, how many seasons of universe mode have we been through as a community? As our own little community over here? Well, I mean, we did Raw, SmackDown, and NXT on 2K22. So this is like our fourth little rodeo over here doing universe mode. And yet I still can't keep track. You know, well, I mean, I can't keep track of things. I just cannot, like... We just talk about whatever. It's almost like it's like I, it's like I should be commentating as an announcer. You would think that I would be doing so given my background, but like <laughs> it's almost like it's a wrestling show with a podcast <laughs> mixed together. It's like we don't know where anything's gonna go. <laughs> We're just here to hang out and watch our stories. <laughs> but here we go, people. AJ Styles making his way to the ring, trying to redeem himself from a loss against Finn Balor. And speaking of Finn Balor. Well, he's going to be joining Seth Rollins and Walter in a huge elimination-style triple threat match for the NXT Championship in the next episode. So leave your predictions down below. The winner takes on Roman at Survivor Series. And they're all matches that we want to watch. <laughs> I love how whenever I throw things onto universe mode at this point, it's like they're not far from doing stuff in real life. Like... The episode where Seth, like the last episode, Seth won a freaking title. He won the NXT Championship and he won a freaking title on Monday Night Raw. And I'm like, what is this? <laughs> then we had the AJ and Finn match, and I'm like, that's where it's probably gonna go at some point. Probably with the, probably in the near future, I would say. Quite possibly. I mean, they've got like a trio situation over there. Like, I know it's a six man and not a trio, whatever. I know trios is like AEW's thing, but you get the point. Trio is three. <laughs> that, that's just where we're at, right? Right. But either way, we've got Kyle O'Reilly versus AJ Styles. Of course, AJ Styles being a former NXT champion. And Kyle O'Reilly is, well, trying to become NXT champion. He'll be having his match at Starcade, so that's how we planned ahead. So whoever wins the title in the next episode, they're going to be also taking on Kyle O'Reilly at Starcade. That's, see, this is how we set things up. Whatever madness ensues on this channel, it somehow makes sense. <laughs> That's just where we're at. Oh my gosh. I'm debating on if I should make dinner after this. Because I'm like, well, I'm getting into a groove. It's almost 8 o'clock, so I've got a limited time window to film things. Oh, what a counter from AJ. I guess this is a matchup I would have loved to have seen. I feel like it probably happened at some point, like... Maybe, I don't know, Ring of Honor or Japan? I don't know. I really don't know, but I would have loved to... I, we, we need this match. This is another matchup that we need. And we're here to give it to you and... Okay, what the heck was that camera angle for? <laughs> why, why, why... How did the camera get right between the referee's pants? <laughs> why am I laughing so hard at this? Good lord, we're a wreck over here. AJ Styles is going to the corner. It's the seasonal allergies, y'all. This ragweed season is not ha its not doing any of us any favors, nor are the kicks that Kyle O'Reilly is giving to AJ Styles. Just not at all. Huge maneuver right to the arm right there. From Kyle O'Reilly to AJ Styles. And AJ goes over the top rope and onto the floor. I also made the arenas already for Survivor Series and Starcade. Starcade's kind of cool. It's like a modernized Starcade a little bit. I think it's kind of cool. It's got like an 80-ish, like 80s kind of vibe to it. It's pretty freaking cool. Oh, and O'Reilly, he's got a submission locked in, but it's outside the ring, so it doesn't count. I mean, he's slowing things down a little bit, but AJ Styles with the counter into the power bomb on the outside of the ring. We're at a three count. And you know what's funny about the last match too? I was like, I actually flipped. I actually had that matchup coming up in the next episode, but I flipped it because it was already generated in universe mode, and I was too lazy to change it, <laughs> so I just kept it there. <laughs> this is it's the little things that make this whole entire universe mode hilarious. And I don't know if we're gonna get to a second season or not of universe mode. I really have no idea, but I'm here for it. I've got, I've got ideas, y'all. I've got ideas. Oh, AJ trying to go for something there, but O'Reilly with the counter. Huge kick right there. Oh, AJ caught him. Oh, but Kyle caught him. <laughs> it's like going back and forth. 
We're here for it. Oh, huge arm breaker right there. Huge move right there to the leg. I'd say it's pretty even Steven right now between these two. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just here to watch what happens. Oh my god, what was that? That was awesome. I want a huge two count right there for Kyle O'Reilly. I don't know what just happened there, but I was not expecting that, but that was cool. Oh boy. O'Reilly's looking for something huge here. What's he going for? Oh! Oh, but Styles, Styles at the counter. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Huge DDT right there from AJ Styles to Kyle O'Reilly right there. And AJ, AJ's going for something here. Another huge DDT of sorts. Something close to that, I think. I'm not a trained professional wrestler. I don't know these things. I watch a lot of wrestling, but, like, I couldn't tell you, like, half the moves that are happening other than that, you know, what looks painful and what doesn't look painful or if something goofy happens. I don't know. It's it's, it's a vibe check for me, dog. <laughs> God. Oh, huge move right there from AJ. We're, we're trying. We, we try. We fail miserably at times, but we still try. Oh, the phenomenal forearm connects. That might be it for Kyle O'Reilly right here. This could be it. And AJ Styles punches his ticket, redeeming himself after the huge loss at TakeOver Vengeance Day. Oh, boy. AJ now getting his arm lifted by the referee. Oh, boy. No hard feelings from Kyle. Love to see that. And AJ also had a handshake with Finn Balor, too. So, I don't know where this whole situation's going, but AJ Styles punches his ticket to Survivor Series. Okay, I thought my recording froze for a second, and I would have completely just like, ah! But here we go, people. AJ Styles pick up a huge win against Kyle Riley in the main event of NXT here on episode... Oh, dear God, we're at episode 46. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, we're at episode 46. Everything's fine. Which means 46, 47, 48, 40. Survivor Series should be starting right on episode 50, so that's quite exciting. So, thank you all so much for tuning in. Leave a like, leave a comment. We've got Shinsuke Nakamura, we got AJ Styles so far on the men's side of things for Survivor Series, and we got Carmella on the women's side of, you know, the women's team and that sort of thing. So, we're going to see what happens moving ahead, right? Right. Next episode, we got two triple threat matches heading your way, including one for the NXT Championship. So, we're just going to have to see how everything unfolds moving ahead. So, on that note, thank you all so much for tuning in. Leave a like, leave a comment. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button, so that you get notifications and that sort of thing. So, thank you all so much for tuning in, and I will see you all in the next one.